Hi all, I want to talk with you about a list of all religions and belief systems part 3. So part 3 of 15. So I'm going to go on continuing on from from where I le last left off, which is, I'm talking about Chinese religion. So it talks roughly about the Chinese religion. It talks about about it's a very done it's done in varied culture cultural regional regional region regional and traditional town by town region by region but that that's that i think that goes with any religion any any religion so let me move on because i can't really put any information i can't put my opinion <clears throat> Sorry, I can't really put in my opinion on this, or, or, or what, 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 what I feel guided on, on by what God has, God has encouraged, encouraged me to say, freely. So let me move on to Christa, Christa, Christa Alfians, Bible-based Christianity. Uh, I, wow. I don't get that. One. Yeah, but a lot of to be really real with you and honest with you about this, Krista Adal Fians Bible-based Christianity, which is spelled Krista Adal Fians. It's spelled C H R I S T A D E L P P. So that's C H R I S T A D E L P H I A N S. You know, anyone that calls themselves the thing about that, if it's saying it, if it's the thing, if it's saying things like Bible-based Christianity, the thing about that is, is that any Christian that calls themselves born again spirit-filled Christians should already be following the whole Bible anyway and be Bible-based, regardless. If if we call ourselves Christians, we, we we should always be we should always be Bible based, regardless whatever denominations we are from, whatever whether we're Catholics, Roman Roman whether we're Roman Catholics, Pentecostal, Anglic, Anglican Church of England, or any other any other denomination, evangel ev any an evangelical church, or anything around that 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 church church orientated they sh they they and we should be preaching preaching and be bible based always from past present and future the let me move on to the next one this one christian apostolic christian apostolic church in zion i think this is like so this is like they're saying it's a cult the christian the christian a p o s t o l i c Church in Z I I O N Zion. The reason why my eyes were, were raised is because I just read it and it says about it being a anti science occult and talking about predicting the end of the end of the world or the end of the age four times. But these are all apart from the cult bits, these are all these are all in Christianity anyway, apart from the 
Well, we're not anti-scientists. We, we do believe in science, but we're not anti-scientists. It's a blessing to, to believe in science as a Christian. But he talks about the flat earth. and it, but, but that was what, what the Romans believed, I think, from what I vaguely understand. But the cult, you know, we're not we're not a cult. That Christ, that whatever that whatever that whatever you want to call a cult, it's not a cult. If he, if it's a if it's a Christian apostolic church in Zion, and who but when it comes to, when it talks about the end of the world and about it about it occurring about them saying it it's four it happens four times. But it's not really the end of the world, it's the end of the age. So, yeah. Let me move on with that one, because I'm not really getting much to say on that one. I'm not really, I don't feel really moved to say much about that one. So, we've got... And you've got... Next one, Christianity, which everyone falls under, or Christian... So it's it's. I'm gonna read this one out because it's it covers everything, what a Christian should be, and what should, what they should believe, as a born again spirit filled Christian, me included. So what it says here, it says Christianity, C H R I S T I A N I T Y. But before I read out the meaning. We must know. I must know. In, in, in even though the title of this video is called "One Moment," or you know, it's called a list of all religions and belief systems. You know, all Christians shouldn't really be calling 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 it a religion. What we serve, you know, all Christians shouldn't really shouldn't really believe that because religion is religion is basically working your way up towards God and Christians don't believe that we 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 we're serving a religion we, because we are serving God in faith it's a faith we we have a faith it's not called a religion Christianity is not is not Christianity is the only is the only is the only faith that that, that is the only faith that that don't call themselves a religion so uh, that's one of the, uh, that's a fact, a, a fundamental f and crucial fact. I don't even I, I can't even recall how to how to say say what the meaning of fundamental is. So that's what I need to get out of the way and really really knuckle down and and be straight with with whoever's watching this video. So let me read the, let me read it because this is universal when it comes to this Christianity title and the meaning of what it is. So it says here, this is when it talks about Christian when it talks about Christianity, what the meaning of it is. It says belief that a single creator, God, had a son, comma, Jesus Christ, comma, born to a human mother, comma, and that Jesus crucifixion by the Romans brings salvation which is the all 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 which which every which every Christian everyone that calls himself selves Christians or Christianity come on that one unity of belief with that meaning that I've just read out to you so I'll read it again Christ, so it's so Christianity belief that is Christianity believe that a single creator God a son comma Jesus Christ comma born to a human mother comma and that Jesus crucifixion by the Romans brings salvation so that is the description of Christianity whoopsie went too far So, I have, yeah, here we are. So that's, I'm back to where I'm, where I'm back, I'm back to where I, where I started. So, I've got two more, I think. 
which the last one I've 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 spoken about in another video, but it, this one's this one I'm reading out the, the this one I'm reading out as the last one is is the is a short one. So it says the name the name of it is Con Concerned Christians. Fundamentalist Christ of oh, wait a minute. I'll give you the meaning of fundamentalist, but the the concerned Christian for the because it talks about fundamentalist Christians active in USA, Israel, and Israel and Greece. About this is and this is the concerned Christians, and the meaning of fundamentalist, which is which is the same, which is what I said about what Christians should believe with, with what I described to you earlier and about when I said about fundamental fu being fundamental Fun fundamentalist is a person who believes believes in the sorry a person a person who believes in the strict comma literal interpretation of of scripture in a religion or faith so He's talking about the concerned Christians, which, which, which is not really another religion. To be honest with you, it's just you know we the Bible talks about one body, and we are all one body, so we should all all be concerned about everybody instead of just one body. <clears throat> we are supposed to be concerned about nuclear wars, because it talks about that in this description about two thousand. 2000 end of the world in 2000 and nuclear attacks in U in USA and it talks about instigating themselves about Christians instigating wars themselves that's what it looks at how it looks at how I interpreted it interpreted it, interpreted it, inter interpreted it so it's it's really we shouldn't really name it as a cons as as a concerned Christians in a religion or a concerned religion or concern or a religion or a religion as or a religion as called concerned Christianity or concerned Christians. We should we shouldn't really name it as a religion, you know, as in concerned concerned Christians as a as a religion. Because it's like like I said it's it's, it's the body of Christ. We should we really be worried be worried about these things. But um yeah Because all these things are vitally important for our daily day-to-day day -day activities and lifestyle and living, and and how and how we live a peaceful and prosper prosperous life at the right time. So let me move on to the last, the last but not least, which we which I've spoken about in a previous video. We so you should check out eight eight oldest religions i think it's called and this 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 was in it as well but it's more it's more it was more detailed on, on that on that one on what i read on what i read out but i might not have explained it in in full detail but i could have i think i might i, w I think i would have done anyway if it's a big text so it's it's called confusion confusionism which is spelled c-o-n-f-u-c-i-a-n-i-s-m and it talks and it says it's about and it's basically about an ethical it's about ethical ethical and moral teachings i mean i don't know where where, where this is going to be based on because the word confusionism looks like it's a like yeah yeah sorry yeah, it's atheist yeah yeah that's what it's all about really yeah so a collection collection of it's a it's a it's ethical and moral teachings but it's nothing to do with god this confusion confu confusionism which is spelled c o c o n f u c i a n i s m it, ha it has nothing to do with god at all even though it says ethical and moral teachings that's not exactly of what that's not exactly what it says in the, in the, in the, in, the, in the description i've just taken out i've just taken out pieces and piece pieces of it little bits of it and then just made a sentence into it and made up a sentence into it 
but it does it does have ethical and moral teachings in the word but I've I've just taken bits and bobs out of it because I don't want to break copyright that's why I did it so yeah that's really all I have to say for this for this for this part or chapter so what I'll do now I'll what can I say uh, what, I, what I will say is that we as 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 human beings we shouldn't really worry about what what as a Christian because I think most of the teach most of this this video has been about has been about the it's basically been about most of it's been about the about the Christians really because there's been about there's been really there's been let's see one one there's only been about hang on sorry I'm losing count here uh you've got Chinese one you got Christopherians not one Christians not one Christians not Christianity not one concerned Christians not one Confusionism you got two there see there's been two there's been two of them two of these 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 religions so called religions that have been not been about Christianity but the other three have been about Christianity so what I would say is we shouldn't really be concerned and worried about what denominations we are because as 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 long as we call ourselves Christians, we are still one body, whether we're Roman Catholic Christians or whatever denominations we're from, we're still one body because we, we, since we call ourselves Christians, you know, we're, we are one body. So we shouldn't really worry about the denominations and what, what, what denominations what we're, what, what we're, what denominations we're from because some Catholics behave like, some Catholics behave like Pentecostals and some Pentecostals and some Pentecostals behave like Catholics that's my motto really and and it's what I've noticed anyway just so that's what I'm saying we shouldn't really work we shouldn't really worry about what denominations we're from so at the end of the day what matters is that is is whether we're following God and obeying obeying and following Jesus and doing and obeying God and doing what 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 we are called to do and finding our true calling instead of wasting time and and wasting expensive air if you know what I mean so yeah so because there's two there's two non-christian non-christian religions in in there so-called religions non-christian ones so-called religions when there, and there's three Christian Christian faiths in there so yeah that's really all I have to say in this video so let me pray before we finish so Heavenly Father we thank you for your grace and mercy you put upon us from past present and future we pray for healing and restoration in that situation Father whatever we're going through oh God whatever denominations we we believe in or we don't believe in whatever denominations we're worried about Father help us not we not to be concerned or worried about it. Help us help, help us to be at ease in our spirits oh God for whatever denominations we believe in whether whether they whatever they are whatever they are intertwined with or whether they are or not, Father, help us not to be concerned, or worried, or anxious about them, Father. And we plead the blood of Jesus Christ in the situation. And we pray your pray for your peace in these situations and circumstances, O oh God. Pray rain in our lives, O oh God. Rain in our circumstances, O oh God. Bring your bring your peace and Shekinah glory on us, O oh God. We plead the blood of Jesus Christ in the situation. Pray not to fall upon that situation. Pray, move, and bless us as we obey you each and every day, Father. Help us to find your calling, O oh God, your true calling, and what you've, what you've, what you have planned for our lives, Father. Help us to make, help us to forgive our past, O oh God, and to and help us to do what we do what we can to start to start now, O oh God, into making up making ourselves a better better person, a better Christians, and help us to focus on the, on the future, Father. What you have for us and for our future. Because because it's not oh it's not over it's not over oh God until you say it's over. Whatever we might do, whatever we might say, 
it's never over until you say it's over, oh God. Even though strife and pain and, and turmoil and chaos may come our way, it's still never over until you say it's over, oh God. As long as we may remain humble and as long as we, 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 we remain continuous we remain in, in as long, as long as we remain can remain and continue to forgive one another, Father, as we forgive those as well, Father. And we plead the blood of Jesus Christ and the strange pray not to fall upon the strange. We pray these things all in Jesus' name we pray, Amen. So before I go, I just want to say another thing. If you're not happy in your circumstances, situation, job, whatever circumstances you're in, whatever chaos you're in, if you're not happy in it, if you're not satisfied or fulfilled in that role, whether it's a job role or, or whatever you're doing, if you're not happy in it, whether it's, whether it's a volunt voluntary, voluntary role or whatever, if you're not happy in it, then then de declare G then then seek Jesus, seek God, seek Jesus, your true personal Lord and Savior, and with that, you will find your true calling, your true, your true, your true, your true identity and your true belief system and your true calling through Christ Jesus and God. So, so peace be with you guys and gals. Bye for now. Love ya.